laid on me. I'm just totally fine with them being out of my space. Right. Unless there's a quality in that relationship, maybe they, they really missed each other. They exactly. really had something, you right. know? But I'm looking forward to hearing a song from them. So I know they're gonna I. go in. Definitely. So shout out to both of them. Yes. On a not so positive note, everyone knows that over the fashion week, um, this past few days at the Harper's Bazaar event, um, Cardi B attacked, attempted to attack um, Nicki Minaj at New York Fashion Week party. The video surfaced of the hip hop stars um, getting into a physical altercation, um, which was very grainy, of course. So you guys don't really know exactly what happened. Right. Um, a lot of assumptions and rumors floating around. Right. So I have seen um, everything, <laughs> every possible uh, description of what actually happened right. um and of course because whenever there's a, a physical situation it's always going to end up in the court system and i'm not going to be the person um <laughs> testifying however i will be clear that there was only one person who um initiated right inappropriate activity and behavior right um and i don't feel like it was warranted that's the big thing so everyone looks at my personal situation where they said to me and online you had a fight on the red carpet at Puff's house, so how can you judge? Right. Um, I think that the rules change when you had, have had some type of physical history with a person. Doesn't make it right, okay? It doesn't mean it's okay that you did it. It just means that your temper flares a little different. Mm -hmm. um, if we all were allowed to go around physically fighting people for liking comments that we didn't agree right. with, we would literally be fighting every single person. Exactly. Um, my opinion is that there's a lot of biasness, if that's even a word, forgive me if it's not, when it comes to certain individuals. I feel, I feel when, you know, when there's a fan favorite, for lack of better terms, um, there are a lot of excuses made for certain behavior. So if everyone loves this particular individual, it's kind of like, well, then you shouldn't have done X, Y, and Z. But when you're not a fan of that person or you feel like they've done other things that you don't like, then it's just like, no, I don't think so. God forbid Nicki Minaj had physically attacked anybody. She would be dragged. There would be no excuses made. They could have talked about you. You guys have to um, take him because he don't know the way they to go. You guys have talked about her family. You guys have disrespected her in every possible way. And there's never, ever, ever any excuses made for anything because she's the bad guy, right. you know? So Instead of looking at it as right is right and wrong is wrong, period. It doesn't matter who the person is in any situation. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Mm -hmm. And no one is the judge or the jury, mm -hmm. you know, to determine on who's right and who's wrong. Mm -hmm. But... Like you guys, right, and you know? I, I think that I think that in this case, um, it was super duper duper whack, and there's only one person that you can blame for it. You can't right. you can't blame anybody else. You know, right. like you can't. This is no. There's one person, the person who initiated it, and that's it. No right. one else, because no one is ever going to not defend themselves. Right. You cannot ever think that someone is wrong for defending themselves. No, no, no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let nothing happen back to you. Right. No, no, no. Because I don't want to be a part of this. No. When you run up on somebody, you get everything that they your hand calls for. When you run up on someone, and that's right. just what it is. I don't care if you guys don't like it. If you don't agree, it is what it is. And if it was your mother, your father, yourself. your child, your friend, or even yourself, yes. you would absolutely have the same observation and the same opinion about right. it. So hold on a second. Friend, they mom, they dad, and their self. Please don't be around people who are loyal to you because it's not a good situation. Like, how could you allow someone to come up to you and disrespect you or disrespect someone that you're with if you have the ability to help protect yourself or them? And what's even funnier to me about the viewers, if you will, had no one defended Nikki, you guys would have dragged. When right. I say drag the person or the people that were standing around her that would have allowed that to happen, right. you guys would have been like, what kind of team do you got? What kind of friends do you guys right. have? So it's like, no matter what you do, you can't win. Right. You're going to have something to say about every single thing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I actually, Brooke and I even said today that after today, 
um, we have no intentions. You never know what's going to come up when you're doing an interview right. or an appearance. But we have no intentions on um, continuing to talk about the situation. But what does trouble me is that when people are um, giving recaps or saying what actually happened that wasn't actually there. Right. Like, how are you... Uh, hosting a show, anybody, mm -hmm. or speaking in a public forum and saying this is what happened and this was this is How what didn't happen. How about say at least allegedly, right? You know, or right. I or read is... somewhere, or Absolutely. somebody told me because if you weren't there, you can't say that this is what happened for a fact. Mm -hmm. Period. Absolutely, I'm with that. So yes. we're we're tired of it, but I just, I, in my opinion, I do believe that this is the beginning of uh something that's going to be ongoing for a long time right. and uh it is what it is you know we don't uh we don't encourage it we're not being ratchet ghetto girls we, we're women we're bosses we're businesswomen we're wives yes. uh brooke is a mother and that's not what our intentions are but we are just grown and you know we hate that things sometimes have to resort to uh physical violence but in some cases, in some instances, that's what it comes to, especially if someone is being irrational and not able to handle their self as an adult to have a conversation. So then it goes the opposite way. But no one is walking around and looking for trouble. Like, that's whack. And for people that do do that, you're whack. Like, that's so whack. Like, no one wants to start trouble. You guys never hear, oh, Brooke is over here starting this with this person or starting that with this person or a ride. Like, no one's starting anything. But if you come and bring a problem, then I'm going to help to try to solve it the best of my ability, however it goes. And it doesn't go based on what, what you guys think is right. fair or not. There's no rules in war. Right. Okay, that's that's just the way I was raised. It doesn't mean you have to agree with it. Right. There are no rules in war. There's no such thing as, no, you could do that, but you can't do this. Right. That's, that's not how it works. It's made the best man win. Exactly. And that's just what it is. Stay on your toes. Stay right. on point, And that's just it. Right. Okay, you ain't gotta agree with it. You don't gotta like it, but you this is just what it is. By it. Exactly. Yes. So I heard that Brittany, um, the unicorn, yes. <laughs> is yes. uh, reconciling with Future. I don't know because this is the thing we're observing. Allegedly, right? <laughs> we're observing the the social media just like everyone else is. I've been seeing. Mm -hmm. I want to say for like the past month or so, she has um, this new little glow on her. Every picture that I see of her on the blogs or of her and.